In four years, Bloxpiece went from a small map with just a couple of islands to Bloxroots, with a map that's so big that it needs three different games to work. But to find out how that happened, let's go back to when it all started. It's 2019, My Game 43 and Rip Indra decided to create a game around the anime that everyone has watched called One Piece. But in beta, about 9 to 10 islands existed in Bloxpiece. One of the first popular videos from Bloxpiece's beta was created by IB Main. But what's interesting is if you pay attention to the background, you can actually see a couple of the islands that existed during the beta. Look, a middle town, forest, lower skylands, and a couple other islands. But in update 2, it was official. Blocks piece was officially released, and to kick things off, look at the magma village. It was the first island after launch, but update 3, the devs were busy trying to balance a new game with some new content. Underwater city. I mean, how can you not like this location? It has a secret entrance that no one can find it. But hold on, we've also got the upper skylands, which is one of the best locations in the first sea. You've got a lot of chests, the instinct teacher, and some cool bosses. And honestly, man, it just looks really cool. Now, many of you will know the fountain city because of this guy, Cyborg, who drops the cool shades when he's oofed. <laughs> Look out, here comes the second seat. It took a couple of updates, but it was finally here. Not only did we get new locations like the Kingdom of Rose, but we also got new gameplay features like CBs and Rage, which made the game a lot more fun. This is like the cafe service a trap for bounty hunters. Trade and get scammed by Zeolus. The second seat was a great addition to the game, but the devs felt like it needed a little bit of spice. That was until One Piece said, stop copying us or we will do what Nintendo did to Pokemon Brick Bronze. And then they started turning Blocks Piece into Blocks Roots. <laughs> Not suspicious at all. Hey man, it's fine because at least in this update, we got the Snow Mountain, which was cool to look at, I guess. In update 10, we got Hot and Cold. Think Sharp Boy and Lava Girl. And you're gonna go to the lava site to troll players. Because why not? But wait, is is that snow? Yeah, let me introduce you to the Ice Castle, which are really known for the hidden and library key to get Rengoku. Oh, but what's that? You mean to tell me there's another update in another island? You guessed it, Forgotten Island. Now guys, do you know why it's called Forgotten Island? It's because no one remembers this island. And it's the last island to be added to the second sea. And I wonder why? It's not like the devs were creating a third sea, right guys? Here's a third C. But didn't you literally just give us islands and back-to-back -back updates? <laughs> Shut up, it's been six months. It's not like we update the game every week. This might have been the best update that we got in Bloxroots, but not only because we got five islands, but we got a crap ton of swords, accessories, and fruit. No wonder why they took six months. Here's another island, Haunted Castle. You can pray and get bones, yay. Update 17 brought us three islands. Two of them came in part one, Peanut Island and Ice Cream Island. We didn't see Candy Cane Island until part 3.5 which brought the max to 2450 and gave us these cool avatars to make awakening the dolphin just a little bit harder. <sighs> We're finally caught up. Well, not so fast because we finally got update 20. After months of waiting, we got a brand new island, Tiki Post. Welcome to the family. And that was the evolution of Blox Fruits. Click the video on the screen where I compare the leopard fruit to the doe fruit to see which fruit is better. Oh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And for all the people that buy the 199 membership on my channel will have their name at the end of every single video. So join the membership if you haven't. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon.